How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Master League here on Pez 2019. Ted Lasso in charge of Liverpool. Now, the last episode left off, we finally bucked our poor trend of form and uh, rattled off a couple wins. Currently, four straight wins in all competitions since the FA Cup second round match. Not been easy for Ted. He's been tinkering with the tactics here and there and trying to get the most out of the squad. But uh, the real test comes in this episode. We've got right off the bat, we're at home, taking on Manchester City. Then we've got another Champions League match on the road. Right this episode, we've got another home match against Leicester City, one and two respectively in the league. So this could be a statement episode for Ted Lasso to, to submit his uh, claim to be fighting for the title this season. All right, first matchup. Again, playing host Pat Guardiola is Manchester City. Here's what Ted Lasso's got in store. Allison and Nets. Lovren and Sanchez, the center backs. Robinson and Arnold, the fullbacks. Henderson's going to be the lone defensive midfielder with uh, the central midfielders in front of him of Wijnaldum and Keita. We've got Shakiri and Oxen Chamberlain as the wingers up top with uh, Roberto Firmino. Well, the tension, you could feel it in the stadium as number one and number three in the league go at it here at Anfield. Liverpool playing host to Man City. A uh, matchup of definitely title contenders, Man City unbeaten coming into this one. Liverpool have been on a hot streak coming in. They've been in the month of October on a high. Fans here are up for it. Main City supporters are here as well. Could could this be a turning point in the season for both of these clubs? And the shot, not going to trouble the keeper from that distance. Anderson fancied himself, just couldn't keep it down. Oh, brilliant little overlap. Robinson's going to have time to whip it in. Oh, it's a big save. Robinson now. Oh, it found a way through the Firmino and he'll score. Great pass from Oxley Chamberlain. I didn't think that was going to find a way through, but it did. And Roberto Firmino scores again. Came back, he was injured all last episode, so it's good to see him back in the lineup here for this crucial match with a heavily rotated squad. Nice to see the tactics paying off here, and Roberto Firmino adds another one to his tally this season. He puts the Reds up here over the, the league leaders. See here it again, just nice little pass. He draws the position out. Uh, they were just still way out of shape and not marking Firmino properly. And he found the space. You can see Vertonghen was marking him, marking him but wasn't tight enough on him and just enough space for Firmino to parry that one. Lines up. Oh, sends it over the bar. Good shot from distance. Had Bravio beat. Danilo. Sadio Mane sends it wide and that's going to end the halftime whistle. Liverpool up by one, thanks to Roberto Firmino, but Man City are starting to get back into this one. Waits for that overlap. He finds Robinson. Good cross in. The header. Oh. Firmino looking to flick it on, but it'll be a goal kick. Cool. Not getting intimidated here, going after Man City. That was a decent ball in. Just couldn't quite find the mark. Firmino from distance. Ooh. Close effort, but that's not troubling anybody. Should have been a foul, but oof, not far off target. Now, and uh, Firmino taking that again. I'm sure, the referee is going to give Laporte a yellow card this time. That's his multiple offense. The referee has no choice but to throw the yellow card there, as Firmino was looking to hold up the ball a little bit. Just got taken out. Ah, Fabian Dill picks off the pass. Oh, good job by Firmino. He takes a tackle off for Tongan. 
and he's going to be free. He's in behind. Oh, and Bravio makes a nice save. Firmino doing what he does best on that high press, winning that ball back, and that was a mistake from Vertonghen as uh, Firmino drove to the net. He was closed down quite well. Didn't give him much opportunity to pass it back, but good save by Bravo. Oh, Mares off the post. Oh my gosh, that was wasn't expecting that much. The Groiner wins it back. Keeping my mouth shut there. For your last play to continue. Oh, Mares in it again. Oh, Robertson had to just clear it away and. We had Mares a scene to come alive here at this stage of the match. What a ball in, and he almost gets to that one, but Robinson cuts it off. De Bruyne once again will whip this in. And Sane gets his head to it, but it's over the bar. Good contention there. Now why close it down. The shot and it's a goal. <laughs> it was only a matter of time, you could say, but Manchester City and Sergio Aguero have tied this game back up late. Oh, a bit disappointing for Ted Lasso. We've been pretty strong this match. We just haven't been able to get that second goal to get a comfortable lead. As Man City have been chipping away, chipping away, and finally find a breakthrough. Our shape was just caught all out there as we were just caught a little flat-footed. Aguero finds the back of the net. Nope, that's going to be the halftime whistle. Well, it was a late goal for Man City that got him back into this one. But it was a tough contest nonetheless. 1-1 one -one the final. Well, this match was definitely even for the most part. Um, I think Ted's going to be pleased that he drew against the league leaders. Probably not happy we were leading and we just couldn't hold on to it. But, I mean, this match, one another, we really showed that we could hang with them for a majority of the match. Um, not pretty happy with the results, even though the foul count was very against Man City in this one. Um... Looking at the stats, I mean, Vertonghen had a woeful day for them, but defensively we weren't great either on the day. Um, Allison, poor game. Uh, forwards, I thought, played pretty well there. We were getting after it, but just not enough to close this one out. And the team of the month for October is like this. Sadio Mane and Kieta make the cut. Second match of this episode, we'll see Liverpool travel to Prague and the Czech Republic to take on Slavia Praia. This is what Ted Lasso's lineup is going to look like. Going back to a 4 2 3 formation. Mignolet and Net. We got Van Dyke and Sanchez, the center back pairings. Virtual Moreno and uh, Cancelo, the fullbacks. Fits a midfielder Fabinho and Ronaldo. Shakiri, the lone attacking midfielder with the wingers. Sadio Mane and Osala and Roberto Firmino up top. Well, it's a gorgeous evening here in Prague for some more Champions League action here. It's match day four for Liverpool as they travel on the road to take on a team that they we beat pretty handily in the last time we faced them. Ted's made a couple of tweaks since that lineup, but uh, most of the starting 11 is going to be getting the start here in this one. As the crowd gets amped up for this Champions League match up here. Liverpool could really solidify their first place in the group with a good result here on the road. Not why I can sell it now. Crossed in the header and oh that one really looped around Mignolet. Anyway. A dangerous chance here starting out for the home side as they're looking a nice ball in there from distance. They're sitting back enough and dangerous. Oh, Manoudam's through. Can he finish it? He does. And just like that, Liverpool, who've been behind the back foot for this entire first four, first half, find a breakthrough here, and it's Manoudam who comes and gets us the goal here as we're broken down on the counterattack. 
huge goal for the away side here is once again we show our determination here as this game has been wide open from start to finish here in this first half and uh well now them showing them legs here getting forward you can see he just kept with the run stayed in the middle of the park Sermino fed it to him nicely and it's a beautiful finish into the top corner See the patience of the run here between Mo Salah and Firmino, but Firmino spots the run of Wijnaldum, lays it on a silver platter for him. Wijnaldum. Oh no, the overhead kick goes over, and oof, Salvia Praia nearly got one back there as we were struggling to catch back up to that play. And Luckily, the shot was not on target from the bicycle kick. Oh, the header off the post cleared away. Shakiri now. Let's it run through his legs. Takes the shot. Deflection. Oh, it's just cleared away. Moreno now. That's a good ball in the header. Oh, just behind. And that's going to be the halftime whistle. Well, it's just been attack, attack, attack in this first half. Slavia Praia trying to get something going here to save their Champions League campaign. Stocks on this one. Oh, the header. Just clear it away. Clear it away. Come on, boys. Oh. And now the counterattack's on. Stocks over this one. Oh, the shot just dragged wide. Man, Liverpool look all out of sorts here in the second half. We're just having a tough time stopping the blink play. So we're getting caught out here. Just silly balls. But look at that shot dragged wide. Oh, Shakiri. Shakiri found a way through, and oh, it's off the post. Oh, Shakiri had him dead to rights, but he couldn't find, get it on frame. Oh, Mane. Oh, what a save. Cleared away. And that's going to do it. The final whistle's gone. It wasn't a pretty result here, but Liverpool get the three points and submit themselves at the top of the table. A good performance here. A great, a great performance from Ted's boys from here in uh, the Czech Republic. It looks like that might have secured them promotion to the, the knockout stages as well as the celebrations are in order here. Well, the stats, look at, looking at the stats, um, wasn't our best game, that's for sure. Um, don't know if we just weren't passing the ball effectively enough. Or, but um, the chance we did make, we were doing pretty good. Had pretty good opportunities, but uh, it was a, very, a lot closer than it probably should have been to the first time we played these guys. And your man of the match goes to win out him for the goal, obviously. Um, oh, up and down, pretty solid. Again, that left back spot continues to be a problem for this team as uh, we can't seem to find anybody that can uh, get a solid rating out there on a consistent basis. Um, but everybody else going forward was pretty good on the day. Match day for the Champions League here in Group E. It looks like this. We're on top with 10 points. With three wins and a draw. Valencia in second with eight. And PSV down there with two points. Um, Savio Praia with just the one point. They have been eliminated uh, with that loss to us. PSV still has an outside chance, but they need to win out and get to Valencia to lose out the rest of the matches. Um, we've secured our way through. There's no way we can get worse than second. Um, so congratulations to the boys on getting the job done here early here after only four matches in. The final match of the Super Cup is see Liverpool playing against the Leicester City in the league. Here's how the lineups look. Allison and Nett. We've got Sanchez and Lover at the center backs. Robinson in Consuelo the fullbacks. We got uh, Keita and Fabinho the defensive midfield. Shakiri in the attacking midfield with winger Sadio Mane and Mo Salah and Roberto Fabino up top once again. Well, it's another overcast fall day here in Anfield as the temperature is starting to drop. Liverpool have been heating up lately. Been on a good run of form coming into this one. 
against a Leicester City side that's tailed off a little bit, but still in contention in the top half of the table. Should be a very interesting dogfight between two very good sides here. Liverpool starting to get their phone back after a tough early campaign. Rattled off several wins in a row. Hopefully they've got the quality to take care of business at home. Wayside, Fuchs over this one. That's a good ball in, and it's flicked wide. It'll be a goal kick as uh, former North City player Madison got his head to that one. Oh, cleared away by Robinson. Nicely done. Oh, no. Sala, he's in behind. We've got a counterattack on. Mo Sala, can he finish it? Oh, he does. Mo Sala with a pretty left-footed toe poke finish. And we catch him on the counterattack. Mohamed Salah gets another goal for Liverpool here. And that's a big one here. We've been flat this game so far this first half. And uh, Mo Salah proving that we're still going to be a dangerous side to play with if we commit too many players forward. A great bit of finishing from Mo Salah. Expect that kind of quality from the former Premier League Player of the Year. And just so much space opened up for him as he was in behind and there was no way he was going to get caught. Creates that angle and just toe pokes it around the keeper. Nice look here. Just see the space just opened up completely for Mo Salah. And Leicester City were scrambling to get back, but it wasn't enough to beat the quality of Mo Salah. Shakiri. And it's Robinson. Oh, almost trickled through. And it's going to be halftime. Looked a little better there towards the end of the second half. A little bit stronger. But Mo Salah's been the difference here. Ooh, that's a hard foul. Mo Salah got tripped up there. And that's going to be a booking as well. First booking right, right out of the gate here in the second half. There's uh, Ricardo. It's suckered in there by Mane. He's taking it short. Just got clipped there. And the header, ooh. Not far off for Jamie Vardy. He's always a danger. That ball was hooked in quite nicely and he was able to find the mark, just not on target. Kieta now. Fabinho with the strike and ooh, just over the bar. Nice opportunity there off the set piece. As Robinson won it back. Keita saw Fabinho, just took a crack at it, just couldn't keep the shot down. Why to Cancelo? Saw the overrun of uh, Markovic, who's fresh legs. And Firmino, the header. Oh, what a save off the line. Cancelo now. Zaki. And the bicycle kick. Oh, Markovic, what was that? He heads it out for a corner. He didn't need to do that. Gave uh, Lester an opportunity here. It was a decent little buildup with the bicycle kick going nowhere, but I guess Markovic felt he was pressured. It's now a corner for Lester once again. Oh, Jimmy Party! Another close opportunity. He's, he's asking for it for sure. It's a nice ball in if Fabinho was having a tough time guarding that one. Over the top, Oxley Chamberlain's through. And he scores it to Firmino, and he'll score. And just like that, we extend the lead once again. Roberto Firmino just does it every time. And what a substitution off the bench to go defensive. It's paid off for us in spades. Leicester City got hit off the dead ball. Good job by Firmino. Kieta up top there, holding up the play. Finds Oxley Chamberlain in loads of space. All he's got to do is center that ball. And keeper had no chance to save that one as Firmino roughs it into the top of the net. Great job by the substitutions from Ted tonight. It's been very solid. Boot it forward. 
And that's it. Final whistle's blown. It's a convincing performance for Liverpool. The win streak continues to roll on here. As uh, Tim Lass's boys seem to be out of the funk they were in earlier in the campaign. A good result. Well, the stats may say otherwise that this was an even game. And to a degree it was, but um, the highlights definitely going to show us much more favorable towards us. Um, two really good goals when we needed them. Um, this game, Leicester, both teams started pretty flat. Leicester, you know, when Vardy came on that second half, the dynamic really changed. We had a tough time defending him. And it looked like Leicester might pip a goal and make this a level game, but uh, the counterattacking proved useful in this one. The man of the match, Roberto Firmino, a goal and assist for him. Mo Salah also on the score sheet. I don't think our defense was that bad at a five, but that's what the ratings we give. But um, yeah, you can see they had they struggled in the midfield in this one. But uh, coming off the bench, Oxley Chamberlain getting an assist. Everybody coming off the bench was solid. So a good result for Liverpool here at home. Here's how the table looks to end the episode here. We're crawled our way up to second place now, just six points off Man City. It's a shame we couldn't uh, take any points off of them in this episode. Could have really, we would have closed that gap down to four, but, you know, it's still doable here. Um, really kind of turn around our defense quite a bit. We looked a lot more solid and more consistent you know, in the last few matches. I think the, the boys are starting to get Ted's tactics down to play nicely. Um, really, it's kind of a surprising. Uh, Start to the campaign, you can see we're starting to pull away a little bit from the rest of the pack. You know, teams like Cardiff City are surprising, the Palace and Leicester are up there in the mix. But um, the heavyweights not really ever doing very well. Like Manchester United down there in 13th. And uh, tough sledding for some of these squads. But that is going to wrap up this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series today. If you did, Leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys next time.